The derivative of a sum of functions is just the sum of the function's derivatives. So to find the derivative of the square root of x plus 1 over the square root of x, we'll just have to take the derivative of each of these things separately and add those together. Now for each of these functions, we can write them as just powers of x, and so of course we will be using the power rule, which I've written here for your reference. Let's begin by rewriting these radicals as powers. The square root of x is just x to the one half, and one over the square root of x is one over x to the one half. But then we can move that x to the one half to the numerator by making its power negative. So one over root x is x to the negative half. All right, now we've got these functions rewritten with powers, and we can take the derivatives pretty easily using the power rule. First, the derivative of x to the one half. We have to take the one half down front as a factor, we see that there, and then reduce the power by one. One half minus one is negative one half, which we see there. Then we can move on to x to the negative one half. We have to bring the negative one half out front as a factor, which we see there, minus one half, and then subtract one from that power. Negative one half minus one is negative one half minus two halves, so negative three halves. So that's our derivative. We could leave it like that, or you could rewrite it like this if you want to avoid the negative exponents. Move this x to the denominator, and its power becomes positive. And a power of one half is, of course, the same as a square root. Same thing going on over here. The denominator of this power is two, so it's a square root. And the numerator is 3, so that's a power of 3, so the square root of x cubed. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.